Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is highly anticipated for me. It is the flip through of the Spring Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. I am going to do a digital flip through for you guys. I have a hard copy subscription and I'm pretty sure I paid $43 or $47 for it. And I said, hey, to myself, now that I figured out how to do a digital flip through, uh, let me contact them and see if I can't convert my subscription, you know? So I wrote them and they wrote me back really, really quick within 15 minutes or so, which was awesome. And she was like, you know, your subscription is so far along because they only publish four times a year. And this spring issue is the third issue in my subscription. She said, we can't convert it, but you have digital access. When you buy the hard copy, you get digital access. And I was like, OMG. I didn't know that. So here we are. Before I even have the issue in my hot little hands, we're going to do a digital flip through. So this is the front cover. Love the pink. Love the springy colors. Absolutely. So on the next page, they are advertising this shop, Yvonne Buns. No, that's... <laughs> Oh my God, that is not buns. <laughs> Dear God, when I glanced at it, it looked like buns. It's boo, boose. I'm so sorry, Yvonne. <laughs> buns, yeah. She does hand dyed yarn and wool, rug hooking and punch needle. Table of contents. A note from the editor. Okay, so I am wrong. Here's the price right here. A one-year print subscription, which is the hard copy, is $37. And subscribers receive access to the digital library. So you get both types. If you just want digital, it's $24. Okay. Yeah, I think next year I'm going to do the digital only. Just because you can then print out what you want. Okay, the first design is Spring Blessing by Yvonne Boos. And I almost said buns again, if you can believe it. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, that's a little, that's cute. And, and they mounted it in a basket. The next design is called Beehive by Teresa Miller of Teresa's Primitive Treasures. Okay. And they measure, measure. Good God. I haven't even had coffee yet. It's too early here in the morning on a Saturday in my house. Um, so, yeah, this is Beehive, and it looks like they mount it on a shaker box of some sort. Oh, it's a hexagon paper mache box. Everyone's trying to go outside the box with finishing lately, aren't they? That seems to be the trend. The next design is a punch needle design. It's called The Sweet Smell of Spring by Julie Thomas of the Old Tattered Flag. I love bunnies, and I, so I love this. I will probably never do punch needle. I buy this magazine for the cross-stitch designs in it, but punch needle, I think it looks cool, but I just, man, I can't spend any more money on another hobby. No, not happening. The next design is a cross-stitch design. It is called Finding Eggs by Rebecca Noland of Lucy Beam. That's kind of cute. And how do they have that mounted? It says you need a mounting board. I, it's hard to tell what that is in. I like the colors. I like the border. See how that border? I really like that. Now, that's probably a giant pain in the... Not a pain in the ass, but I like borders. I don't like stitching them, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like them when they're done. Yeah. And that looks like a hand-dyed... Yeah, that's gentle art. What color of gentle art is that? Let me see. Oh, good. Here's the key. It is probably Mediterranean Sea. That gas cinders is a cool color. That's probably for that bird. I like that color a lot. The next design is a punch needle design called Lilac Garden by Michelle Palmer. I like the purple. The next design is a cross-stitch design called Spring Tin by Elizabeth Gottschall of Thistles. 
that looks like that is on oh it's on a five inch round decorative tin and using little pom-pom trim very cute the next design is a punch needle design it is called to market designed by Nicole Franklin of Kaniki's Prims and Whims that looks like it's on a board chunky clipboard because you can see it's clipped up at the top like I said creative finishing people thinking outside the box OMG on this one McKenna I don't think she watches my flip throughs but is this not a gorgeous design this is Frida by Barbara Anna designs I really love that wow really really love that I'm sure 800 people have told her about this pattern so um, you just saw my eBay notification down there Four new Bent Creek patterns <laughs> I have Bent Creek on a search on eBay yeah really like that really really like that and that's not a big pattern so it wouldn't take it that long to stitch it and I just love the colors in it the next design is a punch needle design it is called vintage seed packet by Janine Hap happy yeah it could be either one of those of two old crows that's kind of cool she has it like in a vegetable basket with like fabric carrots they are featuring Stitchville USA in this magazine because it is their 30th anniversary very very awesome um, where is Stitchville Stitchville is in I'm trying to scan over the article really quick I know a lot of you guys are familiar with this store let's see let's go to the next page ooh look at all those threads in that picture holy crap and then they have a whole bunch of stuffs man oh look at that fabric oh, I think I just keeled over and died that rivals silk weavers long wall of fabric oh my god and look at all the models on the walls Minnetonka Minnesota holy crap wish I could visit that store the next design is a cross stitch design it is called welcome spring by Teresa Kogut that's kind of cute I like the different colors that they use in it that bunny he's eating a little too many carrots he's a little plump <laughs> look at this punch needle love this one if I was ever going to do punch needle this one would be it it is called quilters guild and look all four women they have it all four women are working on the quilt OMG love that love 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 it oh my god that's the coolest thing I've seen in a while the next design is a cross stitch design It is called springtime wishes and it is by Joyce Reed of Joyce Reed folk art that's very primitive for you guys that like that kind of stuff that's a cute little bunny yeah I have a needle minder that is my favorite needle minder I think almost out of all the ones I have it is a chocolate bunny with a, wearing a pink ribbon and it's made of clay it's so cute love bunnies and then they have some advertising pages okay the next design is a punch needle design it is called for you designed by Kathy Brown of the teacher's pet and she put this like on a milk jug does it say it so it's a vase it looks like a milk jug that's kind of cool the next design is a cross stitch design it is called horn shawl sampler and necklace designed by Robin Lacouf wow I get an English lesson every time I try to pronounce these names this is really pretty for those of you who like samplers and you can even make a little necklace see that up in the there's the necklace up in the corner another advertising page I think we're almost to the end of the issue it's only 60 pages merchant listings more advertising <gasps> so we know about this because Vana told us on Facebook and in her blog and she might have mentioned it in her video so a brand new feature in the summer issue K 
Cannot wait to get that now. She is going to be sharing her expertise. Because trust me, Vana, hella talented. Not only in stitching, but in finishing and organizing and yeah. And that's a great picture of her. That is such a nice ad. Yay, Vana! So happy for her. And then, oh, this is just some of the designs. So this is the back cover of the magazine. So for me, the only design I really saw in here I'd want to stitch this time is the Frida one by Barbara Anna. So I will definitely um, probably stitch that one. The colors are just gorgeous. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.